Hi, welcome back to the tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about conversions, wave number to wavelength and vice versa. I found that there are two groups of people. Some think in wave numbers, others think in wavelength. So sometimes we have to converse and there's an easy way to make that conversion by using some resources on our website. So let me show you. From our website, we'll go to resources, then go to Pike Calc. Pike Calc has four different modules, unit conversion, we're gonna go to that. ATR, thickness calculations, and crystal properties. Um, the ATR calculations uh, page, we addressed that thoroughly in a previous webinar, so if you missed it, go check it out. But today we're going to talk about unit conversions. So if you have someone saying, I need to measure at 6.2 microns, let me show you how easy that is to convert it into wave number if you're a, a wave number thinker. So just come down here, type in 6.2, and come down and say calculate. And there you have it. It's a 1,612 wave number. And if you need to go the other direction, go down to this end box. Um, say you need to talk to someone who thinks in microns. So you wanna do 1,410 wave number. And how many microns is that? That would be seven microns. So there's your tip. If you need to do fast, quick uh, conversions and you can't do it in your head, then come visit pikecheck.com and go to our Pike Calculator. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.